Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another Mild Pony for Japan's Metric Season 7 Blind Commentary. And today I'm reacting to episode 6 of Season 7. Title is Forever Philly. And, uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this episode. It's been out for a while with the Canadian release, but I've done well to avoid spoilers. Uh, and really, I've done well to avoid spoilers on all the episodes that have been released early. So I think this whole waiting for the US release thing is going to work for me. Don't think there's much danger of me getting too spoiled unless you guys just get crazy with it in the comments, which please don't do that. Uh, <laughs> I think otherwise I shall be fine. But uh, Forever Philly, just going off the title, don't really know what to expect. Doesn't give me much. Uh, maybe with Philly in the title, this is going to be the first CMC episode of the season, uh, which, yeah, it's probably about time for one, so that'd be fair. Uh, and yeah, if that is the case, I definitely welcome it. Don't really know anything aside from who the writers are, as usual, and in this case, it's the Fox Brothers, and, uh, yeah, that's probably a good sign. I mean, they've written, they've written three episodes so far, and I've liked two of them, so more good than bad. Of course, they wrote Applejack's Day Off, which was pretty terrible, one of the worst episodes of the season, uh, for season six, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of hard to overlook, but they also wrote Gift of the Mod Pie, which I liked, and PPOV, which I also rather liked. So, yeah, I'm more positive on them than negative, so, yeah, this could be pretty good. And, uh, whatever the case, I'm eager to see what it is, so let's just go ahead and get this started. Okay. And here we go. Oh, Kenner like Carousel, and there's Moonlight Raven, the background pony that looks like my OC. And Sassy Saddles. Been a while. <laughs> Good to see her after a couple seasons. Rarity. So is this going to be a Rarity episode? Yay! Yeah. I can't believe the winter to spring transition is almost here! La 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 la. Oh, I know. I love it so much, I gave it its own term. Springsition! <laughs> wow. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that is pretty adorable. All my binders. Right after we finish everything. Yeah. I have so much to do. Oh, my fossils and bows. Rarity, did we? I'm sure what Rarity is doing is equally important. My dear. Oh. Rarity, no reason to panic, but um, we seem to be temporarily low. And when I say temporarily low, I mean completely out of... The baby blue sapphires, they arrived this morning. Huh? Oh, wonderful. Rarity's got it under control. <sighs> oh, what about the design for the... And done. Wow, you are good. And yeah, really she was doing something important. This time, the morning sunshine tulip frog is gorgeous. Looks oh, nice. Thank you. Look, I know you're worried about something slipping between the cracks, but with your managerial Aww. skills and my fabulous designs, we have everything covered. You're right, you're right. There are no cracks. Would you be a dear and fetch me some vermilion satin from the back, and I'll start on the Eternal Elegance Empire Silhouette Evening Gown. My most certain pleasure. Oh! I love this picture. Oh, sweetie. When was the last time we had that kind of fun together? <gasps> I, I can't remember. Oh. Has it been that long? I guess I've been so busy running my shop. <gasps> oh no! Something or should I say some pony is slipping between the Feeling cracks. a bit guilty about sweetie, huh? <laughs> I, Aww. Aww. <laughs> Where is he? We're running low on vermilion satin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're normal, Rarity. Okay, this this could be excellent. Magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, an easy feat. Magic makes it all complete. Best friend. <laughs> and this is 
when we pretended we were storybook princesses. <laughs> oh. And here, oh, we got pretended some... we were on a dangerous yet stylish safari. Nice outfits there. <laughs> so many wonderful memories. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Not to put too fine a point on it, but Rarity in full drama mode here. Sweetie Belle loves playing dress up. I miss her so much. Then why don't you go visit her? I wish I could, but between running three stores and the spring edition, I couldn't possibly. Oh, but you've already done almost all the work. I can handle the rest. But, 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 but Rarity, go. I have everything well in hoof. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if this is a good idea. Oh, point taken. I am going to visit my sister. Way to immediately turn that around. We can spend the whole day together. And we can do all her favorite things. I'm sure she'd love that. Oh, Sassy, thank you. Of course. Now get out of here. I'm going. I'm going. Hang on, sis. I'm coming. What is Sweetie going to say to all this? <laughs> so I guess in a way this is the first CMC episode of the season. <laughs> At least our first time seeing them. <laughs> nice. Chip cutter. The rest is up to you. You really think I have it in me to be a sculptor? Yep. But why? Well, your name is Chip Cutter. Because you said you weren't good at anything except getting in trouble for making sculptures out of your lunch, right? Yeah, I can't help it. When I look at my sandwich, it's like it's just asking me to turn it into a dragon. Well, okay. What is this lab asking? Sure, we've all been there. Into? I see. Wow. wow. That's incredible. It looks just like us. We knew you had it in you, Chip. This is way better than sandwich sculpting. Chip, we're proud of you. And there it is. Nice. <laughs> Getting pretty good at that. Not a bad way to start a day. Not a bad way at all. Helping ponies is just about my favorite thing to do. Another satisfied client. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gabby. So who's up next? I'm pretty sure it's Zipper Will. She needs help reconnecting with her cutie. <laughs> Love the picture of coffee. Big Mac and Shirley. <laughs> And well, there's that one from Cars Before the Ponies. Now. Wow, you are good. Come on in, Zipperwill. Oh, Zipperwill. It's been a while. Okay, so what seems to be the problem exactly? It's my puppy, Ripley. We used to be so close. In fact, I got my cutie mark the day I found him and took him home. But now, it's like he wants nothing to do with me. Don't you worry. You come to the right place. The Cutie Mark Crusaders are on the job. Trust us. Before you know it, you and your puppy will be back to being besties. You have the CMC guarantee. No matter what it takes, we promise you'll have our full attention. Yes, who's here to throw the whole name in the little sister? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Dear, you're tiny. I didn't even see you there. You're tiny. Wow. To get carried away with my entrances. Ba -ba. <laughs> rarity, so we're gonna have overbearing rarity, rarity here. here. I am here. This could be. The day with you. I'm so excited I could practically faint. You don't happen to have a fainting couch in here, do you? No. 
Oh, of course not. It's a tree house. That would be Tregos. <laughs> right. Well, I sure am happy to see you. And spending the day with you does sound like a lot of fun, but... I'm kind of right in the middle of something important. I have responsibilities, and... Oh. Go on, Sweetie Belle. We've got this covered. How often do you get to spend time with your sister? Yeah, go have fun. You sure you two can handle our client here? Client? Oh, that is <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Offer your clients. <laughs> How professional. <laughs> Are you sure you two got this? We have it handled. Oh my. Look at this wall of satisfied yeah, customers. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. <gasps> you girls really have come a long way. Well, all right then. But let me know if you need me or run into any trouble. Come on, come on. You'll never guess what I have planned. Yeah, things sure have changed since since you're of social. What? Sweetie Belle is not impressed. I know how much you love these puppet shows. I did. It's just like old times. You, me, greasy popcorn. It's like no time has passed at all. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, oh. It's your favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. Funny because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Rarity. What's the matter, darling? I, um, guess I just prefer Black Box Experimental Theater. What? Since when? <sighs> I don't know. It's no big deal. This is great. <laughs> okay. We're here. Excited to be back here again? Do I know my baby sister or do I know my baby sister? Uh, yeah. Where is here exactly? Oh, pff, stop being so silly. You know this is your favorite ice cream shop. Oh, right. Yeah. Is a little Philly. And I convinced the original owner to come out of retirement to make you your all time favorite dessert. <laughs> Uh -huh. I remember it being much bigger. <laughs> well, go ahead. I know you're trying to dig in. Yeah, I doubt that ever seemed all that big. Well, <laughs> that was uh, one tasty bite. Still a little hungry, though. We can get another sundae. Chocolate with rainbow sprinkles, perhaps? I was thinking something more like a salad. A salad? When did you get so practical? Oh, um, I guess another scoop would be fine. <gasps> One more silly clown surprise, please! Yeah. You must be bored, darling. This is a very long line for one of Twisty Pop's balloons. Hmm. Uh -huh. But just be patient. We'll get you your favorite balloon bouquet, and it'll all be worth it. Ooh. 
<laughs> wow. Who's a good puppy? You're the good puppy. Now come on. So what's up with this dog? Get the bolly wally. Come on, Ripley. Like this. Good scootaloo. See? Wow. Good scootaloo. It's not working. Maybe if the ball tasted better? I don't think that's it, Scoot. Doesn't look like it's going so well. I'm just gonna do a quick check with the CMCs. Well, I guess duty calls and and you you have that now. What? Nothing, nothing. Go on. Hey, Sweetie Belle. How's your day with Rarity going? Well, it's not exactly great. What do you mean? I don't know. It's like Rarity doesn't even know me anymore. I wish we could say our day is going better. Yeah, I can definitely see the parallel here. The dog has changed too. Can't. Hasn't it? <laughs> Seems like Zipper Will's puppy doesn't want anything to do with her. Don't think it's a puppy anymore. Hmm. I see what you mean. <gasps> you know. It's an awfully big puppy. Yeah. Hurry! He's making it! Gotta go. <gasps> I know just what to do with this! here wow that was just too much too quick of the awesome just all of these rarity outfits uh, I need fan art what do you mean no rarity this is hard for me to say that's ridiculous looking It's hard to take the scene seriously with her like that. You used to love doing these things with me. That's just it. I used to. That's not who I am anymore. This isn't who I am. My cutie mark must be for something else. Because my puppy just doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> Aww. But it is you. You love puppet shows and dressing up and taking silly photos and tiny little clown-shaped ice creams. Really? If you still think I like doing this stuff, then maybe you don't know me at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't believe Sweetie Belle talked to me like that. And after everything I did to set up a whole day of doing her favorite things. I mean, if Come on, Rarity. not knowing her, I know her better than any pony. Thank you, Twisty. <laughs> but the hard truth is, my sister is being unappreciative right now. And I'm going to go and give her a piece of my mind. You tried. <laughs> hey, Zipper Will. What are you doing here? We're Apple Bloom and Scootaloo. They're with my puppy. He seems to like them better than me anyway. Now, I'm sure that's not true. It is. He doesn't like doing anything with me anymore. <sighs> he didn't even want to play with this. And all puppies love these. <laughs> I think that might be your problem right there. Come on! Uh, fine zipper will, Ripley. Woof, woof, it's zipper will, woof. <sighs> it's hopeless. Sweetie Belle, zipper will. <sighs> We're sorry we haven't figured this out yet. Don't worry, girls. I think I cracked this one. 
Aha, there she is. Oh dear, really should have changed. <laughs> no, yeah, that I probably would have been a good idea. Talking to. Right after she's done with her conversation. Anger is no excuse for poor manners after all. Okay, Zipper Will, what do you see? My puppy? That's not what I see. I see a full-grown dog. He did get bigger. I yeah, guess. yeah. He's not just bigger, he's older, too. You don't still play with the same toys from when you were a fool, do you? Oh. Oh. The squeaker is a little small for him now. Huh. It's just hard for me to believe he's not the same adorable little guy I found anymore. I understand. But doing things like you used to won't turn him back into a puppy. So, what do I do? Treat him like the dog he is, and find new favorite things Aww. to do together. <laughs> you think so? I know so. Rarity? Oh, sweet girl. I heard what you said, and you are so right. About the dog? Yes, but about us, too. The truth is, I know you're not a little filly anymore, but it's just... The last time we did all of those things together, I... I didn't realize it was going to be the last, last time. <sighs> I love doing those things with you. It's hard for me to let that go. Oh, Rarity. I love being with you, too. That will never change. But maybe we could just try to do different things together? <laughs> Yeah. What is it, puppy? <laughs> I mean, Ripley. There we go. <laughs> I love you too, Ripley. Thank you, Crusaders. No problem. <laughs> So is her special Today, talent really just playing I'm with her so dog? Very proud of the pony <laughs> there has to be more to it than that. And I'm proud that no matter what, I'll always be your little sister. I uh, have a little bit of time before I have to head back to Cantalot. Could we spend it together? What would a grown pony like you want to do? Well, I do have one idea. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Rarity does like her ice cream, though. That's been established. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. And no outro on this one. For whatever reason. So, yeah. Great episode. Really loved it. Which, big surprise, I like the Rarity episode. Nothing if not predictable here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, one of my favorites so far, probably my second favorite after the mod episode, which is going to be hard to top. But this one, this one was great. And, uh, obviously for me the best part was the whole sequence with Rarity trying on the different outfits and all the poses and everything there. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> one, of the, one of those moments that really makes doing these reactions worthwhile, I think, just because I had such a reaction to that. And, uh, <laughs> it was... It was great. Just one after the other, ridiculously cute outfits. Really hope this generates a lot of fan art just because it should and I need it in my life. And, uh... <laughs> it was great. Uh, just an onslaught of cute and ridiculous. One outfit I could have handled, but that many, and I was bound to lose control. And I did. Uh... <laughs> And, well, that would have made the episode all on its own. Everything else here was great, too. I mean, I really love how this episode handled the characters, especially Sweetie Belle. I think this really highlighted how her character has changed since the start of the series. Because she really has. She's so much a different character now. She's so much more mature, so much more grounded, so much more uh, teen-like, sassy. Just a completely different character from the little ball of energy we had at the start. Uh... I mean, she is still cute. She still does have those moments of similar mischief, but 
I mean, she's really changed, and this episode highlighted it, because uh, if you compare this episode to the episode that established this relationship, really, uh, Sister of Social, it's just a stark divide. Uh, because that Sweetie Belle would have would have just reveled in the chance to do all these things with Rarity. I mean, even if the, even if some of these things would have been childish to her even at that point, she would have still loved the opportunity. She still would have been all about that because that's who that pony was in Sister of Social. She was someone who really wanted Rarity's attention above all else. She was she felt like she wasn't getting it, and she really wanted uh, to spend this time with Rarity and do silly, irreverent things with her. And now seeing it kind of reversed here, that was great, and it just really highlights how this has changed and how this has become a completely different relationship and Rarity struggling to understand it. I like that too. I like how they handled her character as well, uh, which I mean, some people might not. I can see I can see some people bagging on her character just because she does sort of act overbearing and people don't tend to like that. And also she does devolve into the hysterics and lay on the usual drama at the beginning and people sometimes don't like that too. But personally, I really think they set it up well. I like the whole angle of her feeling guilty about not spending enough time with, with Rarity, letting herself get too wrapped up in her business, and uh, just feeling that pang of guilt and that really starting everything off. I also think there's another angle to it, which is uh, her just her just longing for a simpler time when she could do more carefree things and spend time like this just on silly, irreverent things. And... Uh, as much as she, as much as as it is about Sweetie Belle, she also just wants this for herself. She wants to escape to a uh, more carefree time, and uh, that's something that I think is really there in the subtext for this. And uh, there's also just the aspect of her not wanting to let go of her memories. And uh, yeah, I again can really relate to that. And uh, in fact. It made this episode very easy to connect with. There at the end, I kind of got emotional a bit. I get started to tear up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it was a very effective episode just in terms of everything it was going for. I even like how it had the whole parallel with the dog. I think that was really well done. It took me a little while to kind of catch on with what they were going for there. But once I did, I was like, oh, yeah, that's really great. They're really going for a full parallel, and they're doing it really well. And, uh... That really highlighted how I think this is a very well-written episode. Probably the best one the Fox Brothers have done so far. Because, I mean, the gift of the Mod Pie was good, but honestly, it could have been better. Uh, it had characters uh, involved in it that were just not going to lead to a bad episode. You can't have Rarity, Mod, and Pinky as the stars of your episode and have it be bad. I, I just can't imagine a way for that to be done. So uh, that one just had that going for it. Uh, and honestly, it could have been better. Uh, and PPOV, I think that was a good episode, but honestly, yeah, it, it probably could have done more of its concept too. I think that one uh, kind of gets lost in the wash of good episodes in Season 6 a bit, though it is still pretty good. This one, though, this was great, and I can't really imagine how to make it that much better. Uh, maybe tone down Rarity slightly, I don't know, as long as you still keep the silly outfit bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just all around really good. And uh, I'm quite impressed. Uh, also, it's good to see Zipper Wheel again. She's cute. And I like that we actually finally did something with her. Because in her episode where she was introduced, she was just sort of this character who ended up not really being that important. She was just sort of a random new character introduced with a really unique design, but not really, uh, not really any importance to the plot. So actually having her be important to a plot for once is kind of cool. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just overall, good episode. And uh, everything here worked, and I think it was just really satisfying. Hope you liked the commentary, and if you did, and see you in the next one.